Hello students. So finally you are few days away from your exams. So I guess you would have revised, studied everything. So you have four topics or four subjects you can call anatomy, physiology, biochemistry and DADH. Today I will be discussing the important questions of anatomy. So in anatomy you have got again four subdivisions that is your gross anatomy, embryology, histology and osteology. Out of this, your gross anatomy accounts for around 70% of the total marks weightage. Then you have got embryology which accounts for 15 to 20% and then osteology 5% and your histology is again 5%. So reading only gross anatomy may not help you to score very high. You need to read embryology, histology, osteology also. So, you would have revised almost everything, but there are some questions which you should not miss out. So, I will be discussing them. First and foremost, from scalp. So from the chapter of scalp, scalp is a main question. Facial muscles, very important, 5 marks question. And all these individual muscles, orbicularis, oris, platysma muscle, so these are all again short answers. And then you have got lacrimal apparatus, which is a 5 marks question. So in the chapter of scalp, you should not miss these questions. So while reading these questions, first and foremost, you should read the diagrams. Once you learn the diagrams, then only you will be able to know and learn and reproduce these answers. So there are a lot of short answers also from this, like what is facial vein, angular vein, modulus, muscles. So all of this comes under the short answer category from this chapter. Next we have triangles of neck. So in the triangles of neck you have got anterior triangle and posterior triangle. So in anterior triangle again your suprahyoid muscles is a main question or a very important short essay you can call it. And then the individual triangles that is submental, submandibular, your carotid triangle and your muscular triangle. This carotid triangle is extremely important and digastric triangle, these two are extremely important which comes repeatedly in the exams. Apart from that, you should know the branches of external carotid artery in detail. And then the infrared muscles also you should be knowing. Coming to posterior triangles of the neck, so it itself is a main question, posterior triangle. And then you have got a short essay sternocleidomastoid muscle, extremely important not to miss it out. Then from the chapter of infratemporal fossa, it's a very very important topic. So here you have got lot of main questions, short essays. First is muscles of mastication, extremely important topic which comes as a main question and all the individual muscles comes as a short answer also like medial pterygoid, lateral pterygoid muscles. Then your Temporomandibular joint is the most important main question from this chapter. Apart from that, otic ganglion is extremely important. So, in order of importance of the entire gross anatomy, this chapter, infratemporal fossa, is at the highest level. Next comes your deep structures of neck. So, in the deep structures of neck, the thyroid gland is extremely important, cervical plexus, external jugular vein and internal jugular vein these are very important and styloid apparatus it is repeatedly asked in the exams coming from the salivary glands you have got parotid gland which is again a main question structure passing through the parotid gland parotid duct which is tension's duct it comes as a three marks question or short answer you can call it and then the Submandibular gland, again it's a main question. Submandibular ganglion is a 5 marks question or a short essay you can call it. And you should be knowing well about the four ganglions. That is submandibular ganglion, otic ganglion, ciliary ganglion and spinopalatin ganglion. So you will be learning this in various other chapters also. Coming from the lateral wall of the nose chapter, lateral wall of the nose is a main question, nasal septum, very very important question, conca, meatus, your spinopalatine ganglion, Kieselbeck's plexus, so all these important questions you should not miss out. 
mouth pharynx and larynx chapter it's a huge chapter so in the difficulty index level this chapter is at a higher difficulty level for a student point of view so here in the mouth pharynx larynx chapter first and foremost you should learn is the soft palate it's a main question the muscles of the soft palate is again a short answer with the blood supply nerve supply everything you should read then the next main question from this chapter is tonsils extremely important then your muscles of the pharynx that is your superior constrictor middle constrictor inferior constrictor muscles structure passing between them auditory tube these are extremely important from this topic then from the chapter of orbit you should know extraocular muscles again it's a main question so here individual muscles can be asked as a short answer also so ciliary ganglion comes here coming from the chapter of cranial cavity cavernous sinus so the dural venous sinuses it's a main question you have to classify and discuss in detail about cavernous sinus and all the relations what are the structure passing through center of the sinus from the lateral wall of the sinus all those things you should be aware of superior sagittal sinus again a very important question here and then the confluence of sinus extremely important this is a short answer coming from the chapter of middle ear middle ear is a main question again repeatedly it has been asked in the exams then you should know malus incus stapes this is extremely important and then from the osteology section you should know all the foramens the major foramens ex extremely important then you should know about maxilla and mandible to be more precise mandible orbit hyoid bone these three bones are extremely important and the two vertebrae atlas and axis vertebrae you should know the complete osteology of that in the embryology section your very first chapter development of face is a main question then your pharyngeal arches very important first arch second arch third arch and your sixth arch derivatives you should know what is the supply of that arch what are the skeletal elements coming from there what are the muscles coming from there so individually they can ask as a short answer also then you should be very well aware of chromosomal abnormalities mitosis meiosis what happens if there is a problem in the anaphase telophase so klinefelter syndrome turner syndrome all the syndromes and all you should be well aware of then in histology you should read only those slides which you have studied in your normal curriculum throughout the year you don't waste your time in reading so much of histology apart from what is taught in your histology practicals so those slides if you read it will be helpful for you in the practical exam also as well as in your theory exams also so dear students plan well organize well so these are the important topics which i told in gross anatomy pay first attention to gross anatomy then embryology then osteology and at the end histology so whenever you are answering questions always the time plays an important role so please understand that you have got only 3 hours to finish the paper so whichever long essay suppose if it is 10 marks question divided by 2 you can call it so half of that question that is 5 10 divided by 2 is 5 so that many diagrams i am not telling 5 means exactly 5 but at least 3 to 4 diagrams should be there if it is a short essay 5 marks question 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 so 2 to 3 diagrams is necessary and if it is a short answer at least one diagram should be there so this diagrams you should practice well labeling should be done it should be drawn at the center of the answer sheet and you should draw it very neatly and labeling also should be done and if possible you can do the coloring also so all these things you can do when your answers you are writing it at a very fast rate so i hope this important questions will help you out lot thank you and all the best for your exams